hi, welcome to Success is for Losers. My name is Vim Vigorous. You may have noticed authors of self-help books like to talk about productivity in terms of juggling. The idea is you have several balls or projects up in the air and how do you keep them up in the air when there's so many of them and what happens if you don't keep them up you'll drop them and then something doesn't get done that needs to get done or somebody else picks them up or they're pretty soon you're fired. But seldom do these authors actually juggle which you know what does that say about their credibility. They talk a good game but they can't really. I make them hard to take them completely seriously on that topic. I'm certainly not what you would call a professional juggler, but I think I'm up to it. So I was thinking what to juggle, and my wife, Levelicious, said to me, well look, uh, I got this bag of oranges, it's, and you could juggle them, they taste like monkey butt, so you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna eat oranges that taste like monkey butt. So here's my lesson in productivity. I'm going to take these oranges and I'm going to, um, I'm going to throw them up in the air. And they represent um, balls, I'm, I mean projects. Throw them up in the air and they're numb. Do a little juggling, I'm a little out of practice. The lesson that I am drawing from this is when you have oranges that taste like monkey butt, why do you want to have anything to do with them? And they it would be much more productive to, for example, take a nap or uh, if you're gonna eat monkey butt, you might as well go and get yourself a real monkey's butt because at least then there's that adventure part of it. You know how they, it's not so much the, the destination, it's the journey, it's how, how you get there. And this is especially true when the destination is monkey butt. Oh, yeah. Juggle? Just did it. Oh. It was magnificent. <laughs> It'll be on the internet. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs>